Greetings. I am Takur. Hi, Takur. Welcome. Much love to you. I have only come for a brief time so that I can give you some updates on what is happening with your planet and what is happening with the colonies. We bring you great you. greetings. Uh, many things are happening on your planet with storms, earthquakes, and such the like. Well, there are many things. That we cannot speak of what the alignment will actually do for for your planet or against it. The outcome is unknown. Nothing exactly like this has ever happened. There have been planetary alignments in other solar systems, but none quite exactly like this one. So therefore, this, this is a new experience because also you are going, you're, the energies of the giants, planets behind you are going through a, an asteroid field which deflects some of the gravitational energy that's pulling through. And so, therefore, it may be hit and miss with some of the gravitational pull that is coming through from the gas giants and large planets that are lined up behind you. Now, we do know that it will affect the sun because the gravity of the sun is greater than all of these things. So, therefore, it will pull out some solar flares but hopefully as they are coming out the motions of the planets will be moving enough that it will not have any direct hit with any of them okay so but right now we are seeing that you are having some earthquakes you are which will continue by the way we know that there is no way to stop them Completely, because these the tectonic plates are moving deep, deep within the planet, uh, 500 kilometers underneath the planet. There are tectonic plates moving, and these are deep, deep uh, earth uh, earth movements. This will cause shallow earth movements as well. Shallow being within a mile of the surface or two miles. So it is that uh, you will have more earthquakes and even closer to the surface than that, half a mile perhaps. But there are very shallow earthquakes happening as well. So it is hard to say what will happen, but keep your eye on Japan, California, Mexico, Alaska, uh, Peru, and Argentina. There will be many things happening. <coughs> Is there any questions at this moment? Yes, there's three questions beginning with Sheer. Sheer, greetings. Hey, Takura, long time no seen. Yes. Uh, I was wondering when could we know the full scope of the things that are going on? It seems that even today we can't know what is going on, so... Well, the reason for that is nobody knows exactly what the full scope of what is going on. There are prophecies and interpretations of prophecies. There are facts and figures. There are algorithms and mathematical sequences. But no one can tell you exactly how they will play out because they're constantly and forever changing. Now the computers that we have working on these different things are collecting data constantly and every second things change. The gravitational pools change because it is the, the planets are all moving and they're moving into alignment and they are actually have been in alignment already. But they are starting to move out of alignment, but as they go through the asteroid field or belt, they also change energies and def are deflected in different ways. So it is impossible to predict exactly how it will affect the Earth. Also, you have 
Venus that is also lined up in front of you that's blocking you from the sun at this moment. So it is what it is. And we will see coronal mass ejections coming from this particular alignment, I'm sure. Also a great gravitational pull on the Earth in but it will affect mother earth in so many ways some positive and some not so we will see what happens and i cannot predict exactly what will happen with these different alignment the way that this is aligned and mostly because everything is still in motion and it is going through the the uh asteroid field which is mapped by the way but it is impossible to say exactly how the gravitational field will pull through that knowing that each asteroid has a different gravitational pull of its own uh, i meant like when in your opinion, like a week from now, could you already have a notion of what have happened and what is going to happen? That's my question. Oh, oh, a week from now, we will have totally different information. So, yes, if you would like to know in a week from now what we have discovered, we will let you in on that, yes. But right now, it appears that everything on Earth is 80 about 82 percent stable which is a surprise to us we thought at this point it might be as much as 80 percent unstable but it is 80 percent stable does that have to do with the will of the people it may have to do with humanity and Mother Gaia, and with prophecy, and all different kinds of things. It, we are questioning all things. Okay. Um, Omran has a question. Thank you. Omran. It's good to hear you again. Thank you. Um, since we are talking about the alignment and planets, I had a dream around five days ago when I woke up, I just felt completely like a, a lot of Saturn, the planet Saturn's um, energy with me. And I felt like I was there the whole time when I was out of my body. And I felt the energy of a certain being. I don't know who that was, but I felt like I was doing something there. I, and could you tell me what, what that was about? And if, if it had to do with the alignment of the planets? It did. It had to do with the alignment of the planets, but it also had to do with a priest on one of the planets around uh, Saturn. He was, um, he also knows that Saturn has some changes coming because of this alignment and was there are prophecies on Saturn in this particular planet that he is on that deal with this particular alignment as well so you were working with him in the saturn portion of this alignment uh -huh, that's cool and i will tell you that your appearance was part of their prophecy okay, okay. in astral correct okay well, since it, it, each archangel is, is associated with, with a planet, then it is said that Archangel Samael is associated with, with Saturn. Did I also interact with him there? Of course. Oh, okay. Or more correctly, he interacted with you. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Was it positive or negative? Well, of course, any angelic uh, interaction would be a positive thing. Okay. No, the reason I ask is just because that he's both, actually. He can be positive and negative. But it was a positive interaction. Oh, that is good. All right. 
well then I will connect to whatever it is I am doing in Saturn because I feel like a few other people here I know on Earth are doing the same thing with me there and there is a project going on and things like there that. There are many astral yeah. projects going on with humans at this time. Many of, of you are working in the astral and that is part of your missions to do so. It is a very interesting time in the astral as well for many things to be happening and that much work needs done in the astral for the world that you live in to continue yes that is exciting thank you very much ticker i will meet you in astral perhaps <laughs> yes thank you um d excuse me dawn has a question thank you dawn greetings to Kerr. this is dawn i Great. I have not spoken to you in this past on this forum. I'm sure I have spoken to you many times in astral. Yes. However, um, I would like to know if I need to place shields around the Earth or any of the other planets in this solar system for the duration of this uh, interaction with the asteroids. It is not necessary to do so. As you may know or may not, but uh, that would that would make no difference whatsoever. The energies that must play out are in God's hands and he will take care of it. Understood, thank you. Blessings. You're welcome. And thank you for that proposal, but it is not necessary. Thank you, um, Ian has a question. Hi, Tucker, this is Ian. Hello, Ian. Uh, I recently saw a new documentary that was talking about first contact and they had mentioned that one of the possibilities was that the u.s government has the capability uh, to mimic um, an alien first contact in an effort to scare the public uh, to get that fear base that they need for war and i was wondering is that a legitimate concern with the, the galactic council or is that just mis fear-based information no actually it is true they they have tested this in Africa a couple of times with villages and different things to see what the reaction of a landing would be in uh, small villages and the reason why they use those is because the there is much um, spiritual uh, rumors and things that come out of these places and many of uh, many people would find it just absurd so that is the kind of place they would use for a test area and yes they have used it a couple times in remote villages in Africa so now they have seen the reaction of the people but they are not sure that they are ready to do this on a large scale the reason they are not wanting to do it on a large scale is because they would be compromised. It is very possible that people will find out what has happened, just as what they have found out, what has happened with Twin Towers and many other, many other things that have been manipulated, or, or at least partially manipulated by their own governments. Okay, thank you for that. And also, just a follow-up, you and I had um, in something scheduled to, to occur last Friday, and I was not in alignment that night. Do you know if that uh, incident occurred or if it was rescheduled? It is rescheduled. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we do have a couple questions in the chat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do those um, before we go back to the people in the room. Um, there's a person named Radu Lazar. He's new. He says, um, can you tell me something about my mission? Uh, mostly God can tell you about your mission, but your mission right now is just starting. You are just now starting to feel the energy of it. But give yourself over to unconditional love and light because you right now are holding light in a certain area where there's quite a bit of darkness, as I see. And um, 
I cannot tell you what your mission is because it is not fully arrived yet. But I can see that it is something that is important. Thank you. Um, Eclectus888 uh, wants to know if the stone named Shungite, S-H-U-N-G-I-T-E, found in Russia is from Venus. It is otherworldly. It might be from uh, part, there are some of it that is from Venus, yes. But it, it has collected other things at, in its travels. Okay, so it so is not purely from Venus, but it is for the most part from Venus, yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, Slava has a question. And Slava says, hello, Takur. Some time ago, uh, Sanji mentioned about some kind of technology which would help children and human parents communicate more. Is there any uh, news on this yet? Um, there is some developments in that area, but it is not completed. What we are discovering at this time is that the crystal children and the, or what you would call the uh, <coughs> special children that are being born at this time, have greater abilities and are able to sometimes communicate telepathically with their parents and know exactly what is going on at an early age. This is something unique to your planet that is now starting to happen. Okay, thank you very much. And um, it's not a, a strong telepathic energy, but you know, it is starting to happen that telepathy is becoming stronger and stronger. It is not that your whole planet will be telepathic, and not for at least another while, but it is getting stronger all the time. <coughs> okay, perfect. Um, there's a question that says that, um, let me see, there's a lot of typing here. Uh, this is from um, Hank, Duman, Hank Newman, and uh, the, qu the question or the statement is, Hello, Takur. There are some people uh, in Southeast Asia interested in going up to your ship to learn about um, you, but they don't speak English. What options do they have in order to go up there? And a couple translator. The translator. And then a, a couple of days ago, um, he sent a girl from there, and she met you on the ship, but she did not understand your language, and she was speaking to you in Sanskrit. Only any messages that can be relayed back. Yes, um, I I did see her. She was not supposed to come to our ship. She was supposed to go to the ship around uh, her area, but she wanted to see me so bad they sent her over. So um, our ship is not equipped with the translators for that particular language. They sent it over, but it was a little too late. She was already leaving. So we do have it now, and whenever she comes back, uh, if she does come to this ship again, she will be able to understand me because we do now have that particular language on board. Okay, thank you. And uh, there was a question about the rings of Saturn. Uh, Sham Shanman wants to know, did Saturn have more rings added, two more rings specifically? There is, they are very light, but yes, there is some additional rings. Uh, it is due to the exploding of some ice, uh, some very large ice crystals. These were, uh, but they are also not just ice crystals, but they have different uh, chemical makeups. There's about seven or eight different chemicals within these gigantic uh, crystals. And when they were broken up, they created another ring and uh, a couple of them. There was a couple of them that were actually broken up. Okay. Um, and I don't know if there's any other questions. I know another question is being typed right now. So... There is a question in the room. Okay, thank you. I wanted to ask if the alignment is um, affecting our planet axis. 
the axis of your planet. Yeah. The axis of the planet is being held in in place. Now, there is it does affect the axis, yes. But since there are so many uh, outside forces holding it in place, I do think that there will be a problem. Okay. Does that answer your question? Very good. Uh, Pete has question? a question. Yeah, he wants to know about his hybrid children and his Andromedan wife. One moment. What was this about the Andromedan? He would like to, I guess, know how they're doing, if there's any news about them. I would have to check. One moment, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Korea Ashram Zubotika, Rendebash. Forget the Emir. Okay. It would appear that all things are within status quo. Okay. Status quo. This is how it was reported from Andromeda. All right, perfect. Or wherever they are from. I, 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 forgive me, I don't think they're on Andromeda. Okay. Um, there is a question in the room. Yes, please. Yeah. Not really a question. <laughs> the other day, I know you sent me some healing. Yes. Thank you very much for that. You're I welcome. really needed it. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. We okay. try to help as much as possible. Thank you. Sometimes it works, and it depending on each of each system, how well it does work with each person. All right. Um, there's a question from Hengya Peter, and uh, wants to know um, what about a possible. Uh, atomic war between the USA and Korea. Will that be allowed to occur? It is unlikely that that will happen. All parties know the outcome of an atomic or a nuclear war. And so therefore, they are posturing in ways to make themselves seem greater, but it is only to mask the fact that they are not really wanting anything of this nature but they are posturing to make everyone believe that they do want this so that no one will mess with them but it is going to have an opposite effect okay, so perfect. i'm hoping that this will not end in a nuclear attack um, the chances of it being nuclear attack are only about 33% at this time. It's quite high even, I hope. It's it is high, actually, yeah. yes. Um, there is another question, and one moment, is that uh, Andy's asking uh, to Kerr, and this is actually, I saw this too, I'm gonna have the same question. Would you be able to talk about the flying humanoids being spotted in Chicago? And what their presence there represents. I think that's the one that was being struck by lightning, if I'm if I'm correct. Flying humanoids? Yes. Do you oh. know about it? I'm no no, I do not know about it. Um, there was a human flying and being struck by lightning or emitting lightning, but outside of a building. And there's a big video right now going around. I don't know if you've seen it. I see. Is it is it a real video or is it a perhaps animation or something of this nature. I would think that I would be aware of something of that nature if it was real. Yeah, I don't know. I only saw the video very quickly, so I didn't get a chance to dive into it. Can you tell me where it is so that I may look at it? I'll send it to Jim in Skype. Thank you very much. And we Thank will look at it and analyze it. OK. Um, also, uh, Ecclesiast or eclectic, it's a very hard word to say, eclectic wants to know, uh, do many souls come from the central sun of this galaxy? Souls. There are souls in your sun. There is a race of, there is a species that lives within the sun. Mm -hmm. But uh, most souls just come from uh, God. God creates or puts life into a soul, or it is reincarnated if it is not a new life. It comes back because it wants to 
relive or experience something new. It can go to many different places. But if there is a new soul, it is because God created it. And it can come from uh, partially from the sun if he wishes it. Okay, thank you. Um, we have a question from Marlene. I, I don't know if she can ask it in, in the uh, voice. If not, she can type it. In the meantime, Don can go. Marlene, can you ask the question yourself? Greetings. I don't know if you, Perfect. you hear yes. me. Yes. You hear me. Okay. Um, the first question is a greetings to her. Um, greetings. The uh, Universal Council, we, there was a meeting uh, very recently, and I want, I'd like to know if you have any, what the income, uh, the outcome is, and, and if you have any information on this, please. Oh, yes, we have, we, are, we go to the Universal Council, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, many things were discussed about many different areas of the universe. Of, of course, your solar system was discussed, our work was discussed a little bit, uh, but in the the long run or in the the big picture, we were a very small portion of that council, except for the alignment portion and the uh, attention that they will be giving it. And there are those from the Universal Council that are here doing studies on this very alignment. Also, they are using the most advanced technology to do so. We are not, uh, we do not have that technology here, but they are using it and will give us some information that they learn. Thank you for bringing this back to my consciousness. I know that I, w I, I had attended, so thank you for that. Yes. Uh, my other question is, um, I woke up this morning with Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man in my head. So there, there are two parts. Yes. The first one is the Vitruvian Man, and the second part of the, the image was uh, the base of the pyramid, the square base of the pyramid. Can you give me information on this and what it has to do with my work at this particular time, please? Well, I can tell you that the base of the pyramid and the Vitruvian man, um, he is what was, he was the active um, kind of humanoid that was there. And the base of the pyramid, I believe they're trying to give you an algorithm for that because the base of all pyramids of that size are exactly the same. Your mission is has to do with the energies of the pyramid, why they use that exact uh, dimension, and why it why pyramids are so powerful. I know that your your interaction with pyramids is um, is quite a bit, but um, you will have some. There is some algorithms in that. Uh, the picture of the man also that you will want to study because that is a perfect specimen of a man and as a perfect specimen it gives some indicators of where mankind is headed okay thank you I cannot tell you a whole lot about it I do not have all the information that you are, are needing at the moment, but it is for you to discover that on your own. Yes, I'm working on this right now. Thank you very much. Yes, I understand that. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, David has a question, and then also we are at the, uh, the two-hour mark, so to, I don't know yes, how long you must. want to stay around. Yes. Okay. David? Yes, hi, Takur. It's been a while. Yes. I, in regards to the help I received um, earlier for the pain, I wanted just to, to be clear on is there anything that I shouldn't eat or shouldn't do, and is there a time frame that I should wait if I get any dental work done to have a teeth pulled because of the no. help that I received? No, nothing that we have sent to you will interfere with anything in third dimension. 
So if you need to seek some other help, then do so. Uh, everything that we have sent should uh, work within 24 hours at this point. You should be starting to feel some relief and you should be starting to um, feel more relaxed. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I was curious because it's still pretty, pretty It's painful. still pretty strong, but it's, it's getting less. It's just, just a matter of time. Yes. Okay, that's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It is time for us to part. Yes. Where? Right here, Barbara. Oh. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Hi. My question is, uh, my mission was touched upon a few weeks ago. Touch upon it some more for me. Um, well, it's for you to find your mission. Okay. However, your mission is with aliens, as you know, and that there will be more visiting you in the future. Mm -hmm. And as you feel better and do better, there will be more communication. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, can, can you give me some pointers to get ready for that? I'm already doing some things with my apartment. Well, the thing is, way. the biggest thing of, that you can do okay. is continue to learn the languages and practice them because they will be able to understand you and eventually you will be able to understand them as well. So that is the biggest part. Okay. Preparate, preparing your house is not necessary. I'm not just preparing to give myself on energy. Correct. That's good. Okay, thank Excellent. You. Thank you. It has been a wonderful time spending with you, and I will take my leave at this time. Thank you very much, Tikar. Much love to you. It's always a pleasure to speak to the people in the chat on YouTube also tell you thank you very much. And Much love to you all. Thank and you. I will speak to you again perhaps in a little while. Perfect. We always look forward to it. Much love to you. Namaste. Namaste.